Is it Trader McTrader face or is it Vigoro? Uh, it's Vigoro. There's something about it that disgusts me. She doesn't even know who's in it, but she knows who's in it. That ship. It's the Draco. It's Vigoro's ship. Ah, talk about trying to compensate. That guy's got a complex. And it was like a, a, a slideshow of some of her best expressions. Ah, don't worry. Don't worry, Eka. We'll absolutely annihilate him. It's going to be fun. Your mod is being led by Belza and Vigoro. If we can take out their ships, the rest of them will fall. Our next target, the Draco. It's going to be pretty sweet. I mean, the act of accomplishing our goal is going to be sweet. The battle itself is probably going to be exactly like all other boat fights and take longer than necessary. But, eh, we'll do it again. Bruh. The euphemisms, they just keep coming and they don't stop coming. Anyway, now feel the destructive power of my ship, the Draco. Yeah, well, alright, you, you're a big fan of euphemisms and what have you, so, you know. Wait till you see our cannon and what have you. Alright, so... Looks like that is... I'm not sure if that's... A sign for us or a sign for him? The red implies that we're probably going to get shot at for that. So, let's not. And then we'll use one of our normal things. There we go. And then we'll do that. And then we'll focus up so that we can use our own cannon. Let's just... Whoop! Draco cannon! He gods! How much damage is that going to do? A decent amount. If he's going to be doing that every two turns, then yeah, I'm probably going to end up having to heal quite a bit. Quite unfortunate, that, but very well, very well. Someone bragging about the size of the cannon, I got to say it's a little strange just how much larger my ship is in general. But I guess the cannon would be the compensating part, wouldn't it? Ooh, look at that. Cannon actually did a pretty decent chunk of damage right there. Not bad at all. Alright, now we go back to the defensive position. Because we're also probably going to get smacked around by some freaking torpedoes. Obviously not the greatest of situations. And again, it also looked like they also decided to do invasive action. Interesting. Alright. Oh, alright. That's despite the fact that I was defending myself. Jeez. Okay, then. Fair enough. Alright. And we are... Whoa. Now, this is more like it. A face-to-face -face confrontation. This is how real men should fight. Alright. Do you figure we can use our super cannon? We most assuredly can. Alright, then I'm also definitely going to heal because this is probably not going to go too great for us, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's find out. Ah, delightful. That's going to hurt like all hell when that lands. Of course, this is also going to hurt like hell, so have fun with it. Bazow! If my normal cannon did as much damage as it did, yeah, okay. That's what I was hoping to see in here. Granted, I was hoping I would be able to take it out in one hit, but, you know, that was always going to be a, a touch bit more optimistic than I really should have assumed for. But, eh, you know, what are you gonna do? Now we kind of got to do a little bit of focusing again, otherwise we're not gonna be able to use the Moonstone Cannon again. That'd be unfortunate. We uh, definitely want to use that as often as we humanly possibly can. Also managed to heal ourselves a bit, which is good, because those torpedoes are due to land back on my head. Oh, oh, this is gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, this is this is not gonna be a fun situation at all. Oh boy, I could see that knocking us well into half health. No, not quite, but still, hoit like hell. Let there be no doubt of that. I think that was them attempting to attack me. Yeah, because I spent this turn focusing. It's like, I was pretty sure that was how that was gonna work. I did, in fact, not know for certain. Wow, I knew the Delphinus was powerful, but damn, that thing's strong. Indeed it is. Your day of reckoning is at hand, but that'll make my victory all the sweeter. I'll prove that I'm the strongest man in the world. 
Yeah, okay, well, good luck with that, I suppose. Alright, so bad news. Definitely don't have enough for the cannon. That sucks. Alrighty, are you guys ready for another turn of not really doing much in the long run? Yeah, you are, because here we go. He's just going to keep on doing this, I suppose. Bada boom, bada boom. What are we gonna see? What is gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Will we see victory? I mean, probably, let's be real. I think I've only failed a boat thing once, and that was because I definitely did not fully understand the mechanics at play. Now that I kind of understand how these things work, it's a bit of a one-two, one-two. Wow, we managed to dodge all of it? Neat. Fine by me. There we go. Focusing it up, focusing it up. We'll definitely be able to shoot you what's good in the next turn. It's going to be a good time. There we go. Are you ready for the big kaboom boom? Because that's what's about to go down down. Let me tell you. And we'll do that. Uh, I wonder. Do you think we'll be okay to do that? I have absolutely no idea. We're going to find out. Boy, howdy. Are we about to find out if this is a good idea? Of course, if this straight up ends him, then you know that, that, that solves the problem right then and there. Sure looks like it should be. And just barely hanging on, of course. All right, fair enough. He launched the torpedo. Man, and this is going to be the first of two fights against giant boats that I'm going to have to go against. Ain't that a pile of unfortunate circumstances. I'm doing my absolute best to keep you guys on pins and needles and on the edge of your sheets. Sheets? Yeah, on the end of your sheets. I said what I said and I meant what I did. I'm doing my best here. Just getting to get shot with another big kaboom boom. Really does not look that impressive the more I see it. And the torpedoes just straight up missed, so... That's pretty good. We're going to be healing ourselves in a few moments, so it's going to work out all right. Come along now, come along now. What's your next move? Bring it on, bring it on. Your secondary cannons have failed you yet again. They seem to, at the very least, the enemy seems to be having as much issues using those things as I do. For once. I appreciate that being a thing. Alright. A bit overkill, but it'll get the job done. Oop, I accidentally did a little bit too much there. Ash uh, sh should be... I, I've never seen the attack miss before. We're probably ending it here. Don't worry about it. One final big bang kaboomy. Here's hoping his ship explodes and we never have to see him again. I know that won't happen because literally nobody we've fought up to this point has ended up dying, which is unfortunate. Even though the fact... That looks definitely like the type of thing that would kill you. What's something good? I... Can't throw that out there. Also, hey, I could feed a level up from it. That's what you want to see. And a captain strip. We've got the captain strip. This is good. This is good news. All right then. That would be the second time we've beaten you up. I don't believe it. They survived my Vigoro cannon. Yet you shot it ass like eight times, dude. <laughs> I mean, okay, sure, we were healing ourselves here and there. But I still feel like, you know, if we just kept using our ultimate weapons on each other, we would have definitely won f way before you did. I only had to shoot you three times. Belza! I, I, if you're going to tell me that she can hear you, I'm going to call you a liar. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. Not even Vigoro could stop you. Uh, I thought you were talking about him. <laughs> All right. As an admiral in the Fallen Armada, I shall defeat you, much like I totally didn't the first time we fought, so get ready for that. Oh, oh, hello, what the hell? What? Wait, 
What was that? Ah, Vice, look! It... Oh, right. They summoned the, the Gygus. Forgot about that part. Well, that's gonna be an issue. Man, can we at least blow up this guy? Soon, I shall be rid of both the Westerners and the Ten... So seriously, you look like the Monarch. That's so weird. Go, Blue Heim! Blow them out of the sky with my creepy face! Oh, of course. Well, that's not good. And hey, what do you know? Double-crossing the Valens. Uh, that's definitely a strategy he has decided to employ. I mean, I'm obviously okay with it. Makes my job easier, but still. Oh boy, big wing cannon! Or big winds, big wing winds! Woo, that is a lot of people who are definitely dead. Oh, no, wait, never mind, it's okay, I can see the parachutes. This must be the blue wind that the king was talking about. The winds are too strong, our ship's losing control! We can't hold our formations! If this keeps up, all of our ships will be destroyed! I didn't want to do this, but we have no choice! All ships retreat! Cower! Fear for your life! It's Blueheim! We might be able to take him on with the Delphinus. I really hope so. Doesn't look like we have a choice. All right, everyone, let's go. It's up to us. Oh boy. Because it went so well the first two times I fought in Gygus. I'm sure his attack animations won't make it look like we die seven times over. Blueheim is the blue Gygus. It'll most likely attack with wind and wave attacks. That's cool. I'll attack with big beams of death. Well, we don't have much time to think of a plan at this point, so we'll just have to look for a weakness as we find it. Oh boy! This is gonna be a thing. Aruga didn't even make a noise. It just looked like it did. All right. All righty then. What are we gonna do? We're gonna focus. We're gonna focus again. We're gonna focus a third time, and then we're gonna shoot them with the cannons. That's what we're gonna do. Is it gonna go poorly? Yes. And if we die, we die. Well, at least then we'll have an established baseline. That sure looks like it should induce murder. Dang. That's uh, quite the attack you've got there. All right. Well, luckily we have a truly astounding amount of HP. Luckily, all of this focusing we're about to do is going to be good, because even if I can't use it on, you know, the, the moon cannon, at least I can use it to heal myself every turn. It'll slowly but surely undo uh, everything that you've done. At the very least, you're not going to be able to attack every single turn. That's always a benefit. Oh, uh, yeah, you better fly around in your big circles. You go ahead right on and do that way, don't you? Assess the damage. Assessing the damage from what? You haven't been hit yet, you nerd. Although you are admittedly about to be hit. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought you were focusing now, too. That'd be, that'd be unfortunate. All right, let's see if these secondary cannons can even make anything happen. Never mind, you're doing evasive actions. No, that's... That is definitely not going to do any damage whatsoever. It probably won't even hit. No! Okay, it did a sliver. I saw the HP bar move. I can't believe how fast that thing is. Never thought something so big could move so fast. Kind of defeats physics and what have ye. All right then. Well, that all being said and done, let us heal ourselves a wee bit, why don't we? Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. And then the next turn over, we'll have a chance to do something. That'll be a good, that'll be a good. And then we'll focus again. Just to keep ourselves as level as humanly possible. All right, now at least there's damage for you to assess. Heal ourselves up. All is right. All is well. Until the phoenix ray of death and destruction flies forward towards my face again. That's going to be a thing. Obviously, it's going to hurt a lot. Blue lightning! Only the most lightning, only the bluest of lightning to, to try and smite us. That was actually rather unimpressive, all things considered. 
Your other attack was significantly more impressive. Oh, never mind. You're doing it a second time. Never mind. That'll, that'll do it. <laughs> if you're going to do them in rapid succession, then yeah, I suppose they are about as impressive as your other. Oh, okay. That one did double damage. Okay. Probably because I chose to shoot. Huh. All right. It seems possible that we might actually be able to defeat this guy, I guess, instead of having to do some kind of other strategy. The problem being, uh, just throwing this out here, it's probably going to take an hour and a half. Aha! I suppose we'll see. We will see. All right. Well, we've definitely got a chance to do something. Okay. Then we are definitely going to heal. And then we will shoot. Uh, because, well, okay, well, just to make absolutely certain, I know I checked before, but I can't use the moon cannon just, yeah, no, of course not. Why on earth would it ever let me do something as awesome as that? All right, bust out the moon cannon, and then focus again to make up for the whole thing, I say. There we go. Shake off as much of that damage as we possibly can. Because we're about to be inflicted with a whole lot more of them. All right, fine, you go ahead and do your evasive action, because that's not the turn I decided to attack on. Mounted to nothing, looking like a fool. Oh, now you're preparing your attack, huh? All righty. You go ahead and you go and do that. I'm going to shoot you with my pow pow cannon, see if they hit. Oh, they, they totally did. There we go. All right, if the secondary cannons are able to do as much as they've done, then maybe, perhaps, just maybe, maybe... This will work! It won't kill, but it should at least hurt a lot. Here's hoping I have to shoot this thing four times or less! It's basically through its bird spine. Oh, yeah, this fight's gonna take a, a very, very long time. That is. That is an issue. <laughs> that is. That is gonna be a problem. To say the bare minimum. Here come the blue winds! Oh boy! This is going to be less than comfortable. Oh boy, here we go. Since when do winds have electricity in them? That's not a thing! Was I using evasive action for that, or was that just underwhelming? What an incredible blast of wind! Blown is completely off course. Watch out, Blueheim is preparing its next attack. This must be its strategy, using that burst of wind to push its enemies into position for its next attack. Unless we can do something to counter that wind attack, we'll be helpless against this thing. We need to try and think of a plan. Yeah, but unless you spell it out to me, I am not going to be able to figure it out. So we're just gonna guard. Definitely. Definitely do a whole hope for your hope for the best type situation, and then double heal up. That seems like the best option I have available to me right now. Your attacks are indeed rather impressive. I was using evasive techniques, and that did over 5,000. Why did it do less damage than the blue wind? I am confusion. Alright, well, I guess that is why I decided to do the whole double healing thing. Oh! Now it is time for blue lightning! It's like the normal kind, but it's colored blue, therefore making it stronger, even though that definitely looked more like a giant fireball, if I'm being honest. Just causing it like a sees it. All right then, what you gonna 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 do this time, my dude? Assessing damage, fair enough. We actually have done a decent amount of damage. Not nearly enough to make this uh, convenient battle, but there you go, I suppose. Just gonna double heal up. To try to shake off all them pains that we've got in our face. go another heal and there we go all right we're basically back to ship shape that pun was both not intended and intended at the same time 
All right, maybe I should take a look through my magic options. Let's see. Fire, cannonball, fire, cannonball, fire. Fireball, yep, 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 yep. Increase our attack. That's actually not a bad idea for two turns. So we would need to do that uh, on the next turn if we want our Moonstone Cannon to, to hurt even worse. Prevent enemy ships from casting spells. Doesn't really look like that's what they're doing. So I'm going to say no. Make our ship faster. That's an option. I'm not sure if it's going to really help us out, though. Lower an enemy ship's attributes for two turns. I see, I see. And these are just flat out unusable. Ain't that convenient. All right, then. Uh, yeah, we'll dodge. We'll shoot with cannons. And then we will dodge again. Yes. I suppose every little tiny little extra bit of damage ultimately helps in the long run, I suppose. Even if it's just an itsy bitsy teeny weeny little bit. Slowly inchworming our way towards victory. You know, these really wouldn't be so bad if there was a speed up option in some regard. If you're wondering, hey, can you skip any of these animations? Trust me, I've tried. You most assuredly cannot. Alright, well, pow, 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 pow. There we go. Either this fight is going to end before I can destroy this thing. Or this really is just going to take forever. So, here's the skibby. I feel as if we've seen everything this creature can do. I believe we've seen everything that I can possibly do. So I'm just gonna speed things up and if anything new or interesting happens, then I'll slow it back down so we can see it in proper time. Otherwise, I really feel like this is just going to be what we're doing for the next 25 to 30 minutes. So yeah. Okay, there we go, just gonna sit back up now. <laughs> kind of reclining in my chair there for a little while. Assuming all goes well, this should be the end. I'm gonna say that took like 13 minutes of speed up. Woo, what you gonna do? That sure do look like one defeated Gygus though. It took a while, but you know, I'm honestly really happy that we were actually able to straight up defeat one of these absurdly legendary beasts instead of just trying to divert them around or inconvenience them or something to that effect. This was a nice, this was a nice, uh, a s nice surprise. It was, I'm glad that we were able to do that. And a second, Captain Stripe! Well, that's good. More HP for the ship is never a bad thing. Now, please crash and blow up and all that good stuff. Yep, there you go. Oh, yep. Bet you didn't see that one coming now, did ya? I, I can't believe it, the air pirates defeated Blueheim! I need to get out of here! Oh no, it looks like that's not an option! I'm about to get absolutely annihilated! Or at least should. Con gone! You cannot escape! Surrender or die! Please try to surrender. uh, please tr uh, not- don't surrender. I surrender. Boo! 
Boo! It would have been so much more cathartic the other way. Fine, as my chair slides away once again for me. Ah! My old chair dumped me out from behind of it. The new one slides away as it, whenever I bounce my leg, which I do as a nervous tick. Oh, hey, he's got his robes back. Nice. Brave adventurers from the west, I thank you for saving Yafatoma. Taint no thang. But it was my country that caused all of this. That is true, but also... Buck up, buckaroo. You didn't do it. I'm terribly sorry for all the trouble caused by the Valens. I don't know how I can make it up to you. Prince Enrique, please, raise your head. Daigo has explained everything to me. You feel responsible because you are a Valen prince, but it is not your fault. Seriously, literally none of it is. You had no control over the situation. Thank you for understanding, but we have only won the battle. As we speak, the Armada is regrouping. Yeah, but now they definitely can't use one of the Gygases against anybody ever again, so that's pretty nice. Until Vala sets itself back down the path of righteousness, I will continue to fight them. I see. Very well, then. I will pray for your well-being. Give us the rock! And perhaps the Magosphere will aid you in your fight. Take it with you. Thank you! Really? Are you sure it's okay? Didn't you say it's a necessary in appointing a successor to the throne and all that good stuff? Eh, it doesn't matter. Even without a symbol, I have such an accomplished successor already. Like, for real, that guy's pretty cool. I've also decided to return to my father and accept the responsibility of defending my people. Well, I mean, it was never your decision to leave in the first place. You were exiled. That's great. Uh, hey, what happened to Kangan and Muraji? Well, they dead as hell. We executed them to death. They were exiled to Tenko Island. Nice. We figured that if we spent some time in ex- if they, if they spent some time in exile, they'd realize what they'd done and become better people. Or kill each other. We don't really care which. Mm. <laughs> I like that plan! It serves them right. Adorable. That reminds me. I noticed that your ship isn't capable of going to great heights or depths. It sure isn't. Here, take this with you. It'll inexplicably give your ship the ability to do that. This is from my people. It contains all of the knowledge necessary to enable your ship to fly higher or lower than you've ever imagined. Wow, thank you. We got a ship guy for that. We can definitely get, make use of this. I'll make sure we put it to good use. Oh, now what's with the silent treatment? Father, I have something to ask of you. I... Okay, didn't see that coming. Please let me go with these people. What? If what they say is true, then there are matters of great importance occurring in the West. You and Daigo both said you will stay here to protect our country. But I am helping defend our country by helping these people on their quest. Huh. Well said, Mogi. I'm proud to have you as a sister. Prince Enrique, I speak to you not as a fellow prince, but as a pr brother concerned for his sister's well-being. Please take care of her. Well, that's gonna let a relationship blossom. <laughs> I can knows what's up! You have my word. I will defend her with my life. Princess, let us join forces and return peace to this world. Yes, Prince Enrique, I entrust my life to you. <laughs> Side eye, I saw that. Very well then. It appears I do not have much choice in this matter anyway. What am I, the king? Enrique, you're getting much more reliable by the minute. You seem like a different person. Just until recently, all I ever saw of you was the back of your head leaning over the railing of the ship. <laughs> Do you have to constantly remind me about that? Yes. Yes, she does. <laughs> She's right, Enrique. Yes. All right. Let's go home. You received the blue moon crystal and apparently the book of plurality too, even though it was a scroll. And Mogi has joined your crew as a delegate. I don't know how that helps us, but she's on the boat. Ladies on a boat. So that's pretty swell. Oh, you know what we could do? I'll tell you what we could do. We could immediately uh, go right on over here to get our captain stripes is what we can do. There we go. And we're just going to go shabadoo, shabuda. Thank you and good day, sir. Alrighty, so I heard tale of the fact that they... Sorry about that. Forgot how to use an elevator for a minute, minute there. It happens to the best of us. I heard tale that they blew a gigantic hole in a mountain, probably making it easier to get to and from all of the various places. However, 
I really can't shake the feeling that I definitely left something behind in that freaking dark rift or something good. I don't know why, but it's just... It's part of me... Part of me brain really seems to believe that's to be so. So, I'm probably gonna jump in there just to make a little check, Saruni, you know? You never know. You just never know. Gotta give it a try. I also need to get back to that one forest town, because I just know there's somebody I can recruit there. It's the one pl it's like the one town I have visited that I haven't recruited somebody from. Uh, because I wanted to wait until I could actually get through rocks and fog without having any issues. And I got sucked up into all this rigmarole and what have ye. It was just, it was, it's just a big hullabaloo to say the bare minimum. Alright, then we save is what we do. Because, boy, I sure would rather not have to fight Blime again, if at all possible. T'was an epic battle for the ages, but was also rather tedious! I definitely prefer ground combat. Or at least foot combat. Standing on the bridge of the ship technically counts. Oh, hello, we're having a powwow. It's great that we got the blue crystal and all, but where do we go from here? Perhaps we should return to Crescent Isle and study the book of, on ship polarity in order to modify the Delphinus. Go home? And that's to the west of here. How are we supposed to get back? I mean... <laughs> I mean... I want to go through the Dark Rift again. But is that the right answer? Huh. I'm gonna go ahead and say they don't want to go through the rift again. So even though that we probably are going to do that, let's tell them that we aren't and hope that's the right choice. Because we did hear about them blowing a hole in a mountain. Maybe we can try to go east from here. Wait a second, we'll just be getting farther away from Crescent Isle. Uh, didn't Belaza say that she came here by going west from Ixataka? Which is also a place that I wanted to visit anyway, so I guess it works out in that way. If that is true, then if we go east from here, we should be able to reach Exotaka. What? So you mean that the east and west of the world are connected? Yes, Aika, that is what that means. Hmm. I seem to recall hearing legends about the world being round. According to the geological studies of Vala... The world is a sphere. That means that the east is connected to the west, and the north is connected to the south. Of course, no one has ever proven this, and those that believe this to be true are branded as heretics. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true to life. Fair enough. That's interesting. Oh, looks like we're going to see if Belaza was telling the truth or not. We came to Yafatumba from Crescent Isle by heading east. We'll continue on sailing to the east. And if we reach Crescent Isle, we'll prove that the world is round. Yay! Adorable! Wow! You mean you were, you're actually going to try to sail around the world? Yes. All right, everyone, prepare for departure. We're going east, destination Crescent Isle. As much as I do want to go back into the Dark Rift, though, do you think the game will let me? Do you think the game will allow such a thing? Okay, that was weird. Definitely went a bit further than I was actually attempting to. You, you don't appear to be evil. Are you evil? Thanks to the Prince Daigo, the Tenko fleet has now been recognized as an official part of the Afatoman army, or navy, whatever. They don't have to stay in the ranks either, because they're air pirates, they're better at guerrilla tactics and boarding enemy ships. So that's all well and good. Alright, so yeah, I definitely could just go yeast, and I do wish to go yeast. The Dark Rift sure is a long-ass way away. How sure am I that there's going to be something worth it in there, I wonder? Not especially, but you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. We'll see what happens. It literally will not let me go back in. That's a massive bummer. Alright, well. That was a huge waste of my time. Alright, well, back to where I started. I also apparently found the Spice Island, where apparently the legendary Spice Girls once dwelled. A small remote island where a pure spring nutrient nurtures a wide variety of herbs and spices. The water in the spring has medicinal value due to the abundant herbs nearby. Perhaps this beautiful garden is the true fountain of youth. Wow! There are so many herbs and spices growing here. I've never seen so many in one place before. It's amazing. This place truly is a treasure island. We really shouldn't disturb the islands too much. 
Yeah, I suppose that if we took too many of the seeds and stuff that the trees might not be able to grow back. I'm sure it would be okay just to take a little bit, right, Vice? I swear, Ika, you and you're just a little bit. All right, all right, we'll take something with us. I received the spice. Kale! Kale is a spice? Also, it's not... For the record, yes, I'm, I'm aware of the fact that it's not spelt as the same way as the kale that I'm thinking of. I'm trying to make a joke! But if I don't, everyone's going to think that I actually think that they're actually got the plant kale. And then I don't look like a fool and I don't want that to get off my back. I know what's up, okay? Ah! That's a tie! And of course that missed. Of course it did. Alright, well... I guess I've decided to stop with the speed up. <laughs> We're just here now. Shouldn't take too terribly long to get back to where we were. I guess the game just really, really wants me to go and prove that the, the, earth, the earth is... Bleh, that the earth is round! Ugh. Of course, I don't mind it. You'd feel... I feel like that kind of information would definitely be somewhat valuable. Oh, and we got some Wevlum. Lord help us all, we found ourselves some Wevlum. There we go. Got a little bit of the, the map fleshed out there too, so I mean that's pretty cool. Alright, so how many battles am I going to get myself into in the process of getting back to where I was? That's the million and a half dollar question now, isn't it? Good news is the enemies of which that dwell within these lands are most assuredly not the most threatening. The biggest problem is the Galuber monsters that also oh very much like to dodge all of my attacks all the time. Of course, if they choose to run away like that, that's fine by me. Victory is victory, no matter how it is shaped or spelled. Yeah, I bet you would have a lot of fun annihilating all thine enemies while nobody else really has to do much of anything. That would make a lot of sense, Ika, because you are ridiculously valuable to this pirate crew, my goodness.